first half, we catch up with Free State born Netbank Cup Kiona team graduate Tabo Meko. Port Elizabeth's local football association gets a dose of Mazitanza's nationwide coaching clinic with our players inspiring the youngsters. And our Super Sport United soccer schools test their strength in a few inter school friendly games in Durban. <laughs> It's every footballer's dream to be part of a top-flight football team in the PSL. This was the case for 25-year-old Tabo Meko, who was afforded the opportunity to train with Mazatanta's first team for a month after an impressive performance in the 2015 Netbank Cup Giona team. My name is Tabo Meko. From the first state in Velko. I'm 25 years of age. I'm a shy guy. I don't like to talk. Actually, I started when I was nine, but I was staying in, a, in another city, so I was traveling uh, during uh, school holidays. To play in Velcom. When I went to do my primary, that's when I started playing uh, full time. It was uh, difficult actually because uh, the trials were not uh, that easy. Every guy uh, came with his good performance uh, during the tryouts, so it wasn't that easy for players such, such as us. So I believe uh, it wasn't that easy. It's been good. I've been into every uh, teams uh, set up uh, from day one, so it's been good. That's how football is. Uh, you have to learn it each and every day, so uh, I've been learning. Uh, Coach Gordon has been giving me the chance to, to play with the team. I've played with the team. Uh, I've been into every setup, like I said, uh, and I played, I played uh, <laughs> friendlies with the team. And I played well. I think Tabo's done very, very well. You know, I'm very, uh, very pleased with how he's uh, he's behaved himself here. He's, he's he's learning a lot every day, and I think he's got a lot, of, a lot of potential. I think he's got he's a player that's really got a chance. You know, he's a centre half. He's nice and strong. He's com comfortable on the ball. And um, I know I'm going to have a much better look at him over the next couple of weeks because we have a break coming up after these uh, after these games coming up. Now we've got the whole of December just about uh, three weeks to have some friendly games, and I'll, he'll participate in those. But um, he's a nice player, and I think he's got a good chance of making. I see why the selectors selected him uh, for the for the for the Netbank team. He's a great defender, uh, good vision uh, going forward, um, physique as well. He's there. He uses his brain more on the field, so he's one of those players that would really go far in in, in, in football because he doesn't also just use his uh, body just anyhow. So uh, great potential for the league. I feel like the future for him is, is bright and. Um, I wish him all the best. He's a good player. From a player who was playing in the amateur league, I didn't expect the way he's handling himself here. I think he's a rare talent, actually. He can play. And as a defender, you know, we need this kind of players. You know, he can play from the back, he's comfortable in the ball. And no, I think the guys as well help him to settle in. You know, so. But I think he's a decent player. I think he's got a bright future, even though I think they've, real, they've seen him very late. But I mean, He's talented. They welcome me. Uh, we're like a family. Yeah, the team is good. Everyone has been supportive. Hey, the guys have been have been great actually. My advice to him is to keep doing what he's doing. You know, he's behaved in a very professional manner. Wants to learn. He's fitted in very nicely. And uh, the opportunities I've given him with the players in game situations. We've played a couple of friendly games. You know, against certain other teams. And I put him in it to have a good look at him. And I'm very impressed. You know, he's a uh, he's got a good attitude, and that's going to take him a long way. You know, he's humble. Get his feet on the ground, he's physically nice and strong. I'm glad we got him down training with us because uh, I think, as I said, he's got a, a very big chance. If my things don't go well here, uh, I have to go back home and work hard. Yeah, I believe maybe in the next one or two years, I'll come back. Having discovered the likes of our goalkeeper Ronwyn Williams and defender Denwyn Farmer, Galvindale and Port Elizabeth had to be the next city to benefit from the multiple coaching clinics we do around the country in a quest to develop football in Mzanti. We are at the Galvindale uh, Stadium for our leg in Port Elizabeth of the coaching clinics with our sponsors Engine. We've got the first team players who are here to do the coaching clinics with some of the boys from the local football association. This is an area that is rich for Super Sport United in terms of uh, getting talent. We've discovered the likes of Denwin Farmer, Ronwyn Williams, former players as well. So this is a rich area for us coming down here and it was just a way of giving back 
to the community of Gavendale. We also have our engine knockout challenge in this area. So we saw it fit as a football club to come out here and have the coaching clinics. As you know, the coaching clinics, we've been running them all around the country in areas that the knockout challenges are held. So it's something that is very close to our heart to have these uh, coaching clinics. And it's a way of giving back to the community of Gavendale and the local football association that we've had a great relationship with over the couple of years. As far as I can remember, nothing like this really has happened, you know, or where we've been involved in. So I'm very excited. Also, you know, the number of boys that pitched up, yeah, you know, makes me very, very proud. We taught them the, some basic skills in terms of handling the ball, how do you move the ball, how do you protect the ball, which is very, very important, you understand? And then we're building uh, the relationship with the ball, you understand? Which is very, very important for the young players, you understand? So the more touches you have on the ball, the more uh, developing you're going to be, you understand? If you look at the uh, European top academies, they will tell you about 10,000 touches per session, you understand? Which is, we always try to, 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 to achieve also, you understand? So that was very, very important, the touch of the touch of the ball, how many touches can we try and get per, per session. That was very important for us today. It's very, very important. You must remember, uh, if there's a uh, coaching clinic whereby you're going to have a personal team with the players, all the players like today, uh, what the Super Sports United did, these players get motivated, they can see that it's possible and then they try to push as hard as possible also because they can see it's possible to meet your Dean Femen, your Ronan Williams, all those top players, all those international players, they can see that it's possible. So it's encouraging for the young kids and then they can see that they can reach a very, very high level in football. Very happy. It's been a long time coming. For me, this is going to be my first game at home. I'm very happy to be here. You know, not so long ago, I was in these boys' shoes, you know, training here, getting coaching clinics. And, you know, I'm just here to inspire them. And hopefully there's a few more players from here, from my home time, coming out to make it big in the PSL. For me, it's a great opportunity, though, giving back to the kids, because back then I was also at this stage uh, wanting to meet uh, professional players. So for, for me, as, and the team was also it's a good experience for the boys go, coming out here, training with the first team players, looking up to them, and maybe the coach could have a look at a few of them. Yeah, at the moment I'm just busy with the goalkeeper, you know, and as you can see behind me, he's working with a experienced goalkeeper coach, you know, he's been there, you know, he's got his CAF license, FIFA instructor, you know, all those things. So, you know, for him is just to, to go out there and do his best work hard and learn from us and obviously watch what we do after when we train. The majority of them, uh, their dreams is to become professional footballers. So at the moment, they're working hard and we try and motivate them wherever we can. It was the advice given by the players, you know, as youngsters, we really enjoy the advice. Yeah. And it may seem that some of us don't take it seriously, but some of us do, and we like getting advice and meeting up with the professional players that we see on TV. Yeah. And I think that uh, it's good for super sport players and for PE yeah. as a well. whole. I felt happy yeah. seeing the players. I was very excited, and it encouraged me to train even harder. And yeah. It's rare that we, we often see or meet these guys, but today we got the chance to shake their hands and have a little conversation. Definitely with Supersport, we want to keep our relationship going at any time, you know, uh, our doors are open, the LFA is excited when they come in, we know things are going to happen. These coaching clinics are very important in our quest of Supersport United to unearth talent in other regions. So this gives us an opportunity to spot a future Denman Farmer, to spot a future Zama Rambuane. And these are the some of the areas that you'll spot a great talent. We've got our coaches behind us who are always looking for talent. And if we get another Denman Farmer from this area, it will be a positive thing for the football club and a great plus, because this is something that we, that is really close to our heart as a football club. And we're hoping to use this coaching clinic to unearth some of the talent that we might have missed in the engine knockout challenges. So it would be fantastic for us to unearth a future uh, Ronan Williams within these coaching clinics. Supersport United Soccer School boys recently participated in an inter-school tournament which took place in Durban, affording them an opportunity to interact with the KZN-based soccer schools in what turned out to be a fun-filled weekend for the future at the yeah, obviously we came to Durban, you know, for a couple of days. The VW tournament is coming up, so we just wanted to see what the level is of our, of our soccer school team here in Durban, you know, with Coach Peter. Um, and to be honest, there is a few players that we're looking at um, just to strengthen our team. But on the end of the day, we are here to promote Supersport, the brand, the team and what we're doing in, in Johannesburg. And obviously everyone wants to beat us, so it's a little bit tough on our boys, but it's not an excuse, you know. 
Um, I just think that we need to be a little bit better in what we do, you know, especially with the boys. Obviously, we came for football, but at the same time, we want to have fun. But at the same time, we just want to get them away from parents and get them away from the environment, you know, get them used to that, that when we do travel, that they are used to traveling on their own. You know, we, there is a few parents that came along, you know, on their own, um, but we just want to create that team um, unity, that environment, and to teach the boys, you know, that parents is not always going to be there when you play football. And a lot of the boys are, are, are doing very well, to be honest. One or two is struggling. But like I say, for me, it's, yes, we want to win, but we don't want to win at the cost of the development. And, and what we want to actually to achieve here is to see the level of the boys at, um, in preparation for, for VW tournament. We first start off with the kids in the soccer schools themselves, and we have our football de salon inter school leagues. And I think that is our talent identification process where we select the kids from there to come into the Junior Academy at Supersport. In Johannesburg we have over 6,000 children now, so we've only got 60 of them playing in the Junior Academy, so places are at a premium, but it's growing all the time and we've got to make sure that we look at each and every child in that network and what, um, what makes up their, their, their skill set and how far we could get them to develop those skills over a period of time. It was a great opportunity to have the Supersport Junior Academy, the under-13s, come from Gauteng. Uh, we had a training session with them on Thursday with Ricardo Katz and Nick Aresti, which was amazing. And then we played, you know, just a trial, say, practice match with them on Friday morning, which was also very useful. Obviously to see the level of our players and where we are compared to Gauteng. And then we had a FTS five-a-side tournament um, on Saturday morning, which was also great to participate in. And then today, obviously, we've got the development tournament, which gives a lot of disadvantaged players opportunity to play against Supersport, the likes of Supersport and Amazulu. And just great football with great players. You know, they're probably the best in KZN, or some of the best in Gauteng on display here today. They've made good friends, they've been to the beach together, and the ironic thing is when, as soon as they go to the beach after three hours of playing football on the park, first thing they do when they get to the beach is get a ball and play some more football, you know? And so it's great to see. It's good to see kids never get tired of a ball. And a, a ball, is, the soccer ball is a universal language, it makes lots of friends. So there's no competition, they one team, uh, one unit and they're all getting on great, yeah. Well, it's been very fun and we have a lot of experience at Durban and I think we played well today. It was a good experience, we had a lot of fun going to the beach and meeting new players. Very happy with how things have turned out this weekend. The kids have had um, a chance to meet new friends, play um, against other players that are also wanting to be the best they can be. And this is all very healthy. I think South African football needs that. I think the competition and the interaction were, um, between the kids um, is not good enough and hopefully we can um, build on that and, and, and make it a bit better through our network of schools. In the second half, our under-17 boys get intense training and advice from Gerard Niekamp of Pugzwele. Hundreds of hopefuls take part in our open academy trials and the dancers attend the premiere of the eagerly awaited James Bond movie, Spectre. ensure that our brand of football is top class and competitive, we often invite experts from the Dutch Football Association to assist our team to become one of the best in the country. This time we had the pleasure of working with Gerard Niekam from Eredivisie Club, Pugzwele. We've got uh, Gerard here from the week. He's a technical director of uh, Pugzwele, which is a Dutch Eredivisie team. And uh, it emanates from our relationship basically with uh, KNVB, that uh, we've had strong relations with the Dutch Football Federation over the last couple of years. Uh, Gerard is an instructor for the Dutch Football Federation and also between the KNVB and Supersport United, uh, the company and Supersport United, the football club, that is how we're able to bring him here. And it's part of the process that we had also with bringing Fopedi Han through the multi-choice uh, disc challenge. 
uh, that he gets to spend time with us and share his expertise with our coaches and our players, as well as assess the level of the players. So uh, he's been here for the week. Uh, he worked with the younger players on Tuesday and Wednesday, players between the age of 12 and 16. And today he's looking at the older group, which is the players between 17 and 19. And those are players that play in the multi-choice Disky Challenge. And hopefully from this experience, the coaches can gain uh, knowledge and experience, uh, the same as the players. And most importantly, for the players to get uh, opportunities, one or two players maybe, that we can get opportunities for a training experience at Pegzole. Every time I come to uh, South Africa, for helping uh, coaches to develop uh, themselves in a, a, a certain kind of philosophy. You can see it as a, as, as, as an, a way how to produce new uh, players. Uh, all players are, are talented in, in a certain way, but they need guidance uh, for improving themselves and to develop. And uh, I'm working with the coaches together with uh, Coach uh, Coppo and uh, uh, we try to do some training sessions. The first thing, what I always, when I'm here in South Africa, um, wh what I noticed is that the players are very uh, gifted uh, with, with talent, in, 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 in most in the technical part. But uh, football is not only technique, yeah? it's not only make a movement to, to make the 1v1 and, and try to score a goal. That's very important, scoring goals. But football is also playing together. Uh, uh, try to keep the ball. Uh, uh, try to be uh, dominant and try to uh, be dominant in a way to scoring goals. And to play together, uh, the players, especially here in South Africa, need, need some time and need some improvement. Uh, but uh, what I mentioned already, I notice also that they are very, that they are very gifted uh, uh, with talent in uh, in a technical uh, part. I think the big advantage is that what Gerard is doing with them is not too far from what we are doing at the academy because uh, also we are highly influenced by the Dutch methodology, especially at the technical level in terms of the technical development of the players. Um, on Wednesday we had a workshop with the coaches where he sat with all the coaches right from the under eights uh, right up to the MDC team and it was uh, interesting to exchange ideas about what's happening internationally, what's happening in Holland and how far we are and then to see commonalities, you know, everybody is excited to have him here. The older players obviously also working with him for the first time today. Um, it's, a, it's a good experience, it's a good opportunity for everybody. It's a learning curve for everybody at the club and uh, it's these inputs and these opportunities that have grown us and then made us uh, one of the leading, if not the leading academy in South Africa. In a quest to discover new talent, our academy recently hosted open trials at the Panorama Sports Ground. Despite the cold weather, hundreds of kids showed up, hoping to be next to join the Supersport United Academy. Today we are at Panorama Sports uh, Complex, where we have a partnership with Panorama Supersport, so we're just having open trials today, uh, under 13 to under 17. Look, it's, it's about giving kids an opportunity. You know, those we've got our network of soccer schools, and we've got the clubs that we have partnerships and associations with that traditionally feed us players. But I think it's important that we ex extend the opportunity to kids that can't be part of any of those systems and have them down. And we never know. You know we've seen some uh, wonderful talent, but I think the guidance of those children you know, need to improve from a younger age and let them understand what they're getting into when they come down to an opportunity or a trial like this. Yeah, look, obviously there's a few, um, but we never we choose them, but we'll also have to see them again, you know, in a better environment, you know, with better players and see if they can cope. But we have chosen a few. Uh, we might have gotten them right, some will get wrong. But at the end of the day, we're creating opportunity for, for the community. I'm actually very excited. I'm very happy. Played the general game, kept the basics going, you know, what was needed. I was told that they were going to call me when to come next for the final round. Absolutely harder than I work today. Hope to make it there, really. There is a little bit of excitement, you know, because of all these kids, you know, almost five, six hundred kids, you know, there's only a few that we've chosen. Um, yes, they, they, can, they, they can be excited, but I mean, on the end of the day, when we bring them back in a week's time, um, it's going to be more tough. And some of them, it doesn't mean because we've chosen them, that we've chosen them for the academy. It's just uh, giving them an opportunity and see if they can make it. Very happy with the turnout. I think, um, again, it's down to the popularity and the success of the Supersport United Academy. 
um, over the recent years. So uh, the kids certainly want to come down and play at a higher level, but I think they need to have a better understanding of the attributes they need to play at that level. Not everyone is going to make it, you know, and, uh, but it doesn't mean because you're not, you're not good enough for super sport that you're not good enough for another team. So yeah, this is just trials, you know, so, but um, this is not the, the start and the end of it all, you know. Many of us, we were disappointed when we went for trials at other teams, and yet with some of us, we turned out to be good football players, so, yeah, super sport is not the only team, you know, and we, 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 we're very specific in what we want. Our players were invited to the premiere of the 24th James Bond movie Spectre, starring Daniel Craig. The event was graced by some high-profile people and celebrities. Our boys were amongst the first few who couldn't wait to see the movie. Tonight is the South African premiere of the latest Bond film Spectre, starring Daniel Craig. Um, it's going to be one of those amazing nights where everybody who's everyone is here, celebrities, soccer players, the British ambassador. It's going to be a really exciting night. This is one of those amazing events where so many people work together and it all comes together so nicely. So with the British High Commission, with Sony Movies in South Africa, we love working with them together. And it's just one of those great events where everyone comes out, dresses up, looks beautiful and watches a great film. Actually, you know, the James Bond movies have become such an icon of the brand of great for Britain. Sort of, they display amazing parts of the UK, like Skyfall with Glencoe in Scotland. 50% more people now visit Glencoe in the UK. We'll be seeing great Aston Martin cars, cutting edge of innovation and engineering, and just that sort of coolness of the locations, international, but many, many British things. So it's become part of selling the greatness about Britain as a place for investment, tourism, travel, study, and then there's all the film stuff and the gorgeousness of Daniel Craig and his girls. Yeah, very excited. Been a long time waiting for this one to come out and looking forward to some flash suits and some awesome gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely high. I think all James Bond movies are fantastic. So yeah, the ed expectations are high, especially after Skyfall. Well, I'm exactly the same. Uh, big James Bond fan. Every movie's uh, been top notch and expecting nothing less tonight. Since Daniel Craig's become the Bond, he's, he's done very well with it but excited to see what he's going to do with his, his last role as James Bond and obviously the gadgets are, oh, can't leave out the gadgets, gadgets are going to always, Bond gadgets, you can't beat them. And my expectations, just can't wait to see the Bond car, the Bond girls. Yeah it's exciting, especially like you know, an event like this to go watch a movie is, you know, it's an honour to be here, it's really cool so really excited to see the movie. They're always really, uh, really entertaining movies and you know like I think Skyfall and Casino Royale was, was you know, one of my favourite ones so I'm just looking forward to see uh, Daniel Craig again, and yeah, it's, it's a great spectacle. You had no authority. None. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some overdue holiday. Should I trust you? Because right now, I'm your best chance of staying alive. Definitely exceeded my expectations. The action scene's very, very good. Bond girl, I think I fell in love a little bit. The Aston Martin DB10, very impressive. And no, everything and more from what you expect from a Bond film. Yeah, everything and more. Uh, Bond movies never fail to disappoint, and uh, that one was a 10 out of 10 for me. The initial scenes, I, that was just, it grabbed you from the very start. Um, and even the opening credits, I really liked that part of the story as well. So, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I think it was a really good movie. Yeah, it was uh, some beautiful scenes. It was cool to have little touches of South Africa in there as well, you know. That was, that was, that was a nice touch, but it was a very good movie. Yeah. It's a classic Bond film, you know. You, you never, you're never disappointed in a Bond film, but, you know, there's a, there's a nice end to it, you know. Um, I think it's a little, little bit different to, to previous films, but it's still, you know, classic Bond. For someone that hasn't seen it, I think it's definitely one of the better Bond movies, so definitely get to a cinema and go see it right now. If you'd like to get in touch with Supersport United and follow all the latest tweets, log on to twitter.com forward slash supersportfc. Don't forget to log on to our website www.sufc.co.za for all the latest